Hello everybody, get in here, get in here, get in here. Get in here everyone. I have a story to tell you. Get in here, get in here. Listen, welcome to the episode of the Anthony Brown Show. This is yours truly, Mr. Anthony Brown. I tell you, I have a story to tell you. Y'all are going to die laughing. I mean, it's funny now, but it wasn't funny when it took place. Just want to bring you all up to par, up to date, up to speed as to what's going on with my health issues. Um, turn the AC on max. It's hot out here. Um, well, as you all may know, I was recently in the hospital. I was hospitalized for about a week. And I want to just um, let you all know what happened and um, what, what caused all that. So, <laughs> oh Lord, this is so embarrassing and, and funny at the same time. Ooh, y'all gonna get a good kiki out of this one. Well, As I often tell you guys, and y'all, as you already know, not often tell you, as you already know, I'm 52 years old, and I brag about that quite often because I tend to think that I look good for my age. So I'm 52 years old. Um. So what happened was a week ago, I was sitting at home, and I was feeling kind of, kind of horny. I think my door's. Yeah, okay, that's better. And I was feeling horny, feeling myself, as most old, dirty old men do. I was watching porn. So I got out, you know, the porn, I was watching the porn, and got aroused, and decided to um, touch myself, if, if I will. So get in touch with myself. So in the midst of me getting in touch with myself, um, stroking and going back and forth and moaning and ooh ah ooh ah, I had an orgasm. Seconds after having the orgasm, I'm laying down in my bed. <laughs> oh Jesus! I feel um, like there's a fluid, a backup fluid or something in my chest, like a. Like I'm being congested, you know, like almost like I'm drowning. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, damn, that was a very intense orgasm. That ejaculation almost took me out of here. So I came and almost went at the same time. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe I just need to um, sit, for, sit for a spell. Let me sit for a few minutes and bring my heart rate back down and, you know, catch my breath and cool off. So I sat up on the side of the bed, thinking that was the answer. So I sat there for about a good four to, four to eight minutes. The results didn't change at all. I started feeling a little worse. So I said, well, let me go in the kitchen, because it was morning, I just woke up. You know, me and wake up with that morning wood, meat sticking straight up in the ceiling like a tent. So I proceeded to go to the refrigerator to get some nice, you know, water to drink, some cold water to drink. Figuring well, maybe that's what I need to, again, to calm down a little bit. So I'll go get some water. And I keep a bottle of water in the refrigerator. I think it's 32 ounces of um, a bottle of water that I use when I do my exercises or go to the gym or whatever. So I keep it there. So I just grabbed that and I took um, maybe a good six to eight ounces drinking of water out of that um, container out of the bottle, thinking, again, that's the answer. Maybe I just needed some water to help with my calming down. So again, I um, sat on the side of the bed. Now this time, actually, I have a ch two chairs in my bedroom. So I sat in one of the chairs and um, turned the TV on and was sitting there chilling, thinking, okay, I'll give myself about five minutes to see if all of a sudden my breathing was, was going so not only did I feel the, the, the congestion of, and I could like <gasps> as I go like that I could hear water in my in my chest in my lungs or whatever 
I'm like, oh, I can get water. So I'm like, I, I, that was the first part. The second part was now that I drink the water um, and I'm sitting on the side of the bed in the chair, I'm feeling, experiencing shortness of breathing, like, I couldn't hardly breathe. So I'm like, damn, I never had an orgasm or you know, ejaculation session quite that intense. So something is wrong. So I own a truck. So I had already loaned my truck to, to one of my um, relatives, one of my friends, somebody I had loaned my truck to to, do some, to run some errands. So I, didn't, I was without a vehicle at this point. So I called um, my best friend, my business partner, um, Junior. And um, you can find him on Facebook, um, Junior Lover Boy. So I called Junior and I said, um, "Hey, I don't know what's going on with me, you know, but I, I actually feel like I'm dying. I said, I'm having trouble breathing, and I feel like I'm drowning at the same time. It's possible. Where are you? Can you rush me to the emergency room?" So he's like, "Because he does Uber, DoorDash, um, Lyft. He does um, the Amazon. He does all the little." Delivery services um, as a, a, one of his forms of income. So he said, "Well, I'm in, you know, so and so city. I'll be there in, in a few seconds." I said, "Okay, great." So I, I knew he was on his way. So I called my god sister Carolyn, who's an LPN, almost a registered nurse, you know, studying for her RN. So I called her because she's a medical expert. So I said, I explained everything to her. She says, don't wait for Junior. Call 911. I said, call 911. So I'm thinking logic. Because Junior and the paramedics are both going to take me to the emergency room. I already have a ride on its way. So why have two rides on their way? That's the logic I was thinking. And she says, no, no, no. If you call 911, they're gonna come and they're gonna immediately put you on oxygen to increase your breathing. Which, medically and health-wise, that made perfect sense. So I was like, um, I said, okay, great, no problem. I'll call you, I'm serious, call, call 911, don't wait for Junior, don't wait for Junior, call 911. So I said, okay, okay, I get off the phone with her. But, <laughs> again, I'm trying not to create a bill you know, because at this point in my life, I'm not working as far as a full-time career. You know, I'm, I'm working from home. I'm working my online business. I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing, you know, my mortgages. I'm doing my notary stuff. I'm doing my my YouTube. I'm doing um, ExoticOilMasters.com. So I have a lot of things going on, which is bringing in revenue um, so that I can sustain. But I don't have a, a major income as far as a full-time nine to five, you know, with, with an employer as far as benefits are concerned. So that was, so my concern was, um, at this point was a bill. So I know for, for the paramedics to come out to your house, I'm looking at at least a thousand dollars right there. They're counting the paramedics, their fees, whatever services they're doing, whatever treatment they're gonna do, getting me there, I'm looking at a thousand dollars, which I don't have a spare thousand dollars just to, 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 to blow on a ride when Junior's on his way. So of course I did not call 911. I get over, so Junior shows up like right after this, like seconds after that. We rush to the hospital. I grab all my meds that I used to take and, and the vitamins that I currently take um, to let the hospital know what I'm taking because they always ask you know are you on any meds what are you taking what are you currently taking blah 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 what are your health issues and the only health issue that I currently have to my knowledge was I have high blood pressure which I've had for some years now and but I have been off of my high blood pressure pills since May and it's now what, October almost November so May June July August September October November almost six months I've been off of my medicine been doing holistic healing, taking um, natural healing, natural cures, black seed oil, natural vitamins, sea moss, all that kind of stuff, 
to sustain because again I'm out of medication I don't have benefits I don't have um, any way to pay for medicines and I don't have a primary care doctor at this time which I've always had a primary care doctor but when I lost my benefits and lost employment um, from the, the, the nine to five I lost of course the doctor so so at this point I'm like okay well, so what am I gonna do so what is this guy doing is he parking or what So anyway, um, so I get here to the, to the emergency room, I get here to the hospital, and I tell them, you know, immediately I'm, I, I can't breathe, I'm having trouble breathing, blah, blah, blah. So they rush me in real quick and take me, take me on back. So I get back there, they put me on oxygen, they take my vital signs, everything. Rushing back to uh, one of the, the triage rooms, the RN and everything. I tell her what happened. She's hysterical. She says she's heard stories similar to that, but not quite like that. But being in the medical field, I guess you've heard it all. So, by the way, I, I just arrived to the hospital, back to the hospital, same hospital, because I left my um, tripod. I had um, a tripod that I used for videotaping. It was a small one. I think it's a 10 inch or 12 inch or 18 inch or whatever. When I pop up on the, on the desk or table, I left it in the window. I call, recall the nurse and told them I was on my way to pick it up. And um, this was, I left it yesterday because I got released from the hospital on yesterday. So nevertheless, um, so the, the nurse did whatever she had to do, blah, blah, blah. They sent EKG in there to take, you know, this and X-ray and people taking vital signs and people drawing blood and because they're trying to figure out what's going on because it's, it has to be more to it than just a massive orgasm and high blood pressure at this point. You know, and that's what they're thinking and that's what I'm thinking and, you know, so everybody's hoop to hoop trying to figure out what's going on with me. So, I'm trying not to make this video long, but as you see, I'm long-winded and my videos can become quite lengthy and I do apologize. So anyway, um, <laughs> it's just so funny, I'm thinking the story, boy, y'all are probably dying laughing. So, three different nurses came in. I explained the story to all three of them. All, all of them was like, okay. Um, so, after taking ex extensive tests and this and that and blah, 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 they realized that um, I have um, digestive heart failure, high blood pressure, my heart and kidneys was working against each other as far as the fluid intake in my body. Potassium is low. Um, the breathing was off whack as a result of the fluids in my chest. Um, Body's not releasing fluids fast enough, so I'm retaining fluids, which causes the backup in my chest, causing the, the drowning feeling and sounding. So I got all this craziness going on with my body. And mind you, I'm 52 years old. I, other than prior to the ejaculation, prior to me touching myself, felt fine. So certain things the doctor was telling me that you will feel fine and you'll never know they're out of whack until a test is performed like I never I would have never known there was an issue with the, with the kidneys until a test is performed that's that's something that you can't like if, let's say if your kidneys are off whack you don't know it until you're probably dead or, or you know going through it so luckily I, I was there so what the, the thing with the fluids in my body is everyone knows that you should drink a lot of fluids even fitness trainers and health health people will tell you you should drink half your body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you should drink 100 ounces of water per day. Some people say just automatically if you're an adult, drink a gallon of water a day. Some people say you should drink um, at least eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day. I mean, it's all kind of um, stories on how much you should or shouldn't take as far as your body intake of water. And I've always been a, a, a big water drinker. 
because I always knew that water is what's needed to flush the body. Water is needed to flush your kidneys. So I'm a big water drinker. Well, for me, and that's good for the kidney. However, it's bad for my heart because my body doesn't flush the fluids fast enough. It retains fluids, which also causes the obesity, the heavy weight, the fatness, you know, all that. So, so do I drink fluids to flush the kidney or do I not drink fluid to, to satisfy the heart? So I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. So now, like I said, so I have my kidneys and my heart working against each other because of the, the, the water, the fluid intake in my body. Um, so that was an issue. So I was in the hospital, like I said, for a week and they were basically, I was a guinea pig. And uh, my body was out of whack because of the fact that I've been off my meds since May, six, seven months. No medicine in my body. The only thing I've been taking was natural herbs, natural um, remedies, natural cures, stuff like that, which did sustain me um, for a lengthy period of time, they said. However, that's the difference between, um, you know, I guess science and medicine or natural and science because doctors are science and cures uh, remedies is natural um, holistic so um and I do believe in the holistic healing and all that so again if you guys know of any natural holistic cures other than that that I've already been taking because that did sustain me just you know let me know and I'm definitely willing to try them and try them on YouTube so anyway um so I guess so for a week they've been basically using me as a guinea pig to, to try to figure out what's best for me as far as what pill they can give me to allow me to drink fluids to flush the kidneys but will make the heart balance out or whatever make this works with that and this works with this and get the breathing right get get the um, the blood pressure back down because every time they test my blood pressure at least once a day it will be high and then all the other times it will be normal then they, then they started giving me Lasix, which like um, they were giving it to me in a needle form, a, a shot in my belly, but now they give it to me in a pill form. But the Lasix causes me to pee a lot, which flushes the water pill, and it causes me to um, flush the fluids out of my body. So just as fast as I'm getting the fluids in, and I'm flushing them out, um, which sustains the heart, which is a good thing. Me taking them in, Sustains the liver. I'm sorry, sustains the kidney. Um, a good thing. Um, but also, when you flush a lot of fluids out of your body, you're also losing potassium, which the body needs. So potassium comes from bananas. So you can either eat a, lot, a whole lot of bananas, or and or take potassium pills. So they got me on a potassium pill. Um, they also have me on um, vitamin D. Vitamin D you get from the sun, but you also get from a pill, vitamin D. So that's one thing that a lot of people didn't know that vitamin D actually comes from the sun. Um, so potassium is your bananas, they got me on a potassium peel. Vitamin D from the sun, they got me on a vitamin D peel. Um, they got me on the omega-3, 1,000, um, I think it's 1,000 milligrams or 2,000 milligrams. Well, omega-3 helps also with your heart health. Heart health, brain health, memory, um, I think aging, so that's probably probably why I don't look 52 when I look good for my age. Um, toot, toot, toot my own horn. Um, so, so now everything is, is in, in whack, is, is in sync right now. Um, and, you know, I'm happy for that, thank God. Knock, knock on wood. Knock on wood, everything is in whack. So, they do want me to increase my mo mobility as far as not necessarily exercising, but definitely um, become more active. Because you know, being you know, the life of a YouTuber and, a, and an online business maker, there's no exercise involved. YouTubers, I sit in front of a camera all day. I make videos for you guys. Um, on my online business, I'm sitting in front of a computer all day, making sales, doing marketing, posting, posting videos, posting advertisements, filling orders. Um, and the only work walking you're doing is from the computer to the table to fill the order to the door to give the item to UPS or FedEx to be shipped out to, to you guys. 
you know, from exoticoilmasters.com. So the mobility and the activity in me is very is minim, minimal. So they do want me to um, increase my mobility, um, become more active. Not necessarily right now going to a gym because of the fact that they don't want to overwork or overexert my heart, but build up to it. So at some point, yes, go to a gym. You know, I do have a gym membership as most of us do. I'm probably not using it, but I do have a gym membership with um, Planet Fitness. Um, so eventually I will start back going to the gym. And the funny thing, you know, it's really funny. Um, speaking of the gym, I remember back in January, pre-pandemic, pre-COVID, um, before the corona and all that stuff, is um, my web designer, he and I, we had started going to the gym cons consistently every morning at um, 5.30 in the morning, 5.30, 6 o'clock every morning for an hour and a half, doing cardio, little weights, but mostly cardio. Well, he was doing more weights and less cardio. I was doing more cardio and less weights. So we, were, we had got on the right path and was doing very well. What happened in January is I ended up um, lifting something heavy for Exotic Oil Masters, doing an event at, um, at a party, setting up my table, doing a display, selling my products. And in the midst of lifting all the heavy stuff, I developed a hernia. Didn't realize I had a hernia. Um, going to the hospital, having surgery, that cut that out. So then I couldn't go to the gym anymore because I had the surgery for the hernia back in the end of January, beginning of February. Right after that, COVID hit, everything shut down. Now this, you know, almost a year later. So, but I'll probably do another video on my um, hernia situation to let you guys know more details. That's gonna be very um, detailed and very um, body, not gaudy, that's not the wrong word. That's gonna be very explicit and very detailed and um, you have to have a, a strong stomach to watch that because I have actual pictures of my belly when it burst open. Because there was uh, mix-ups with my um, surgery. But that's in another video. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys what happened, my whole journey with my health, what's going on as far as why I was in the hospital recently for a week, just got released yesterday, last night, matter of fact. And um, and if you're friends with me on Facebook, you'll see all the, the, the my posts, I, I post every morning from the hospital. I'll post my three meals from the day before. You know, anybody give me their well wishes in the comments or whatever. Um, and again, by, by me not having any medical benefits right now, any major medical or whatever to pay. So um, I've been reaching out to you, you the consumers, you the fans, you, you the followers, you, you my Facebook family, you my YouTube family, you my Instagram family to help um, with donations. And um, down below I have my Cash App and my PayPal links. And all I'm asking is for a dollar. A dollar goes a long way. So if anybody can reach out and just um, contribute or donate just one dollar, um, to help me with, with funding my health for right now until I reach out to different agencies or organizations to get um, benefits. I would greatly, desperately appreciate it. You know, like I said, a dollar goes a long way and it'll mean the world to me. So you heard it here first. So you heard the story directly from me. So you're not hearing any story from somebody else like, girl, let me tell you what happened. That's a lie. You heard it here first. You got the story directly from the source, from the horse's mouth. So um, don't laugh, don't judge me, but definitely um, if you're new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button, the thumbs up. When you hit the thumbs up, YouTube's algorithm program or system, it it lets other people who similar to your interests and your, your likes find the video. So definitely hit the like button. And um, if you have any family or friends that, that know me or know of me or you just like, that needs a good laugh, click that share button. <laughs> this is going to be a story, I tell you. So hit, definitely hit that share button. So share this video with others as well. I greatly appreciate it. So subscribe, like, share. And if you have any comments, please put them below. And I, and I respond to all comments. I, I, I do. I love you guys. You are my family. I miss you guys so much. But I could not go on another day without sharing 
the truth and sharing the story with you guys as what happened with my health and so you know why I am right now physically with my with my health. So I appreciate you all, love you. Till next time, grind into your shine. Grind into your shine, the Anthony Brown Show merchandise. I have t-shirts, tank tops, and hoodies. Um, the link is below, so make sure you follow the link below in the description area and get your merchandise going. And they come in a, an array of colors. Grind and T-Shine, that's one of the scenes I always see at the end of my videos and, I, and that's the words that I live by. So get your shirts, Grind and T-Shine. We have the T-shirts, male shirts, female shirts, hoodies, as well as tank tops. And the link is in the description below. Also, if you t uh, purchase a shirt and take a picture, please send me the picture, the image, and I will post it on my Instagram. Yeah, the Anthony Brown Show Instagram channel. I will post your pictures there. So go ahead and give me your shirts. Thanks, I appreciate it. Take care. Until next time. Grind into your shine.